Hello guys and welcome to this another episode of Mobile Legends Zero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we will be having a detailed tutorial about one of the best fighter hero in the game, which is Yin. What makes Yin an excellent fighter in the game is because of his ability to isolate an enemy during team fight, and also because of his great damage output and sustained capabilities. What you're about to learn in this episode are comprehensive and concise guide about the skills and abilities of Yin, powerful combo of Yin that deals devastating amount of damage, item building emblems, and lastly, tips on how to use Yin properly. I encourage you my friend to finish this video till the end because I guarantee you that right after watching this video, your Yin gameplay will never be the same. So without further ado, let the tutorial begin. With this passive skill, Yin increases his damage when there are no allied heroes within 4 yards. The increased damage works both on his basic attack and skills. With his first skill, Yin immediately gains 60% movement speed that decays over 3 seconds. Aside from that, Yin also gains a single enhanced basic attack within the duration of the skill. Upon hitting an enemy with the enhanced basic attack, Yin will throw another charge punch forward dealing enormous amount of physical damage to enemies along the path. And also, the cooldown of your first kill is reduced by 35% when Yin successfully used the charge punch. With the second skill, Yin dashes forward leaving a golden ring behind while dealing physical damage to enemies along the way. Meanwhile, he then gains 25% extra damage reduction for 4 seconds if an enemy hero was hit by the dash. This is the indicator that you gain 25% extra damage reduction. Right after dashing, the golden ring will then catch up with Yin, dealing another physical damage to enemies it passes through and stunning them for 1 second. I thought this was just a game! With his ultimate skill, Yin can pull an enemy hero into his domain for up to 8 seconds. Yin then transforms into Li, granting him 20 extra physical and magic defense. This form will also grant him another set of skills. The skill 1 changes into Frenzy Strike which allows Li to smash the ground for 10 times, dealing physical damage to the enemy and slowing the target by 75% for 0.2 seconds with each hit. Aside from that, Lee is also immune to any control effects when using the Frenzy Strike. During in Lee form, the second skill is buffed with knockback effect and the Golden Ring has higher stun duration. This domain will end early if you or the enemy is killed. If Lee successfully kills the enemy inside the domain, he will restore 20% max HP and the cooldown of his skills is immediately removed and you continue to fight as Lee for another 8 seconds. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the skills and abilities of Yin, let us now dive into his powerful combo. This combo is the only best combo of Yin I can figure out which I consider powerful and essential in the game. This combo is best used on soft heroes like Marksman and Mages. This is how to initiate the combo properly. First is, use your first skill to activate your enhanced basic attack and to increase your movement speed. Run towards your target then use your second skill to stun your target. Use your enhanced basic attack to deal devastating amount of damage. Use your ultimate skill to isolate your opponent. Immediately use your second skill to stun your target. Then finally use your frenzy strike to shut down the enemy. Never yield. Hey, 
This combo can also be used with Flicker's spell to instantly inflict stun to your target. By the way my friend, if you are learning and you like this video, please give us your support by giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Marvel Legends hero tutorial tips and tricks. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will never miss our valuable upcoming Mobile Legends guides. So these are the item builds that I can recommend for Yin. For the boots, I highly recommend Warrior Boots if most of your enemies are physical type or tough boots in case your enemies are more on magical type. And then I highly recommend the Blade of Heptasis to synergize the damage of your enhanced basic attack and the item effect. As you can see, if both the skill 1 and the item effect is active, you can deliver 3 damage simultaneously with just one successful basic attack. With this amount of damage, there will be higher odds that you will successfully kill the enemy during your ultimate skill. Another important item is the Bloodlust Axe which will significantly increase Yen sustain capabilities. Here is a good example of its importance. As you can see in this 3 vs 1 situation, I was still able to manage my escape because of the help of Bloodlust Axe. Then War Axe to further increase your movement speed and damage during team fights, Immortality to increase your defense and survivability, and Blade of Despair to further increase your attack power. You may also build the Dominance Eyes instead of Immortality in case your opponent has great regen or heal capability. And Rose Gold Meteor as a substitute for Blade of Despair to increase your magic defense while having considerable amount of damage at the same time. Always remember my friend that this item recommendation is not absolute and will always vary depending on different situation and your playstyle. Now here is my preferred emblem. To further augment the passive skill of Yin, I highly recommend the assassin emblem with high and dry talent. And this talent will further increase the damage output of Yin during his ultimate skill. The passive skill provides Yin 120% extra damage plus 7% coming from the emblem. The emblem would really suit well with this ultimate skill. For the spell, I highly recommend the Flicker spell as this will be useful for escape or in reaching far enemies. Since Yin is also great to use as a core hero, then the Blood Retribution is also ideal to use to further augment his sustain capability. Now here are my tips on how to use Yin properly. No doubt Yin excels in 1 vs 1 combat but Yin can easily be countered by marksman with Wind of Nature item or Mage Assassins with Winter Truncheon because he is quite reliant on his skills. In cases like this, better choose another target. Choosing the right target is very crucial for your victory. 
better pick support heroes so that they cannot participate in team fights. You may also prioritize heroes that have channeling skills like Farsa or Odette since your ultimate skill is also great in cancelling enemy channeling skills. You may also pick heroes that are attached by Angela to cancel Angela's ultimate skill. Always remember that Ian also excels in killing enemy heroes inside their turrets because of his ultimate skill. Just be careful and better do tower dives if your target has no allies nearby for a guaranteed escape. One thing that you need to know is that you will always return to your last position after your ultimate skill expires. So always have a full awareness of your last position before you use your ultimate skill so that you can plan your escape right after your ultimate skill ends. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the basics of Yen, I am now inviting you to watch the next video for a full Yen gameplay. In that video, I will be sharing to you the implementations of what you've just learned in this video about my decision making and also including the mistakes that I made. So that's it in this video my friend, I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you learned a lot from this episode. Again, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't miss our upcoming Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. Thank you so much for watching this video my friend and always remember that you are amazing. This is 1UP Gaming and see you on our next video.